Hi everybody, it's Joey Chris with Professional Contractor Supply with another PCS safety update. 35 years of teaching and selling fall protection gear and I still get excited when a brand new fall protection item hits the market. Today I'd like to share one of those with you and it's from the folks at Safeways. It's a one of a kind attic anchor or wood truss anchor. The origin of this anchor started when one of the solar companies we supplied showed up at my door to ask if we had an anchor that would work in the attic. I was a bit taken back as this was the first time I'd ever been asked this question and it got me thinking. At PCS, we sell every major brand of fall protection gear, and within our $20 million of inventory, we had zero products to sell. And worse than that, I had zero options. I was looking for an anchor that would attach overhead because doing so at the foot level did the user little good. In a single story application, if they fell through, they would hit the lower level before their equipment even had a chance to work. So I contacted Safeways and I asked if they could help design an anchor that could attach overhead as we were looking to create as much fall clearance as possible. The higher the anchor, the better. This was not an isolated occurrence. Let's face it, we've all heard of somebody falling through the drywall. I asked my customer, why now? We've been doing business for five years. He said one of their employees had fallen through, uh, was injured, and wanted to have a fix before OSHA showed up. After months of testing, Safeways released their solution, part number SW-EX180. Let's take a look at this new anchor. I like the fact that it's small and compact. Remember, the user will have to bring this anchor up into the attic, so the smaller the better. First, let's address how this anchor attaches to the truss. The minimum width needs to be an inch and a half, the actual size of a two inch piece of lumber. Also, the truss must be three and a half inches tall, the actual size of the four inch piece of lumber, such as a two by four. Taller pieces of wood such as a 2x6 or 2x8 are also acceptable. Remember, it's incumbent upon the user to check the quality of the wood. No knots, no rot, uh, check for termite damage. If you have a hammer, go ahead and whack it a couple times. Make sure that the wood is solid. Once you have it securely seated into the bottom of the truss like this, you will now go ahead and pre-drill five holes in both sides of the anchor for a total of 10 holes. If fastening uh, to softwood, you'll want to pre-drill the holes using a 764 drill bit. If it's in hardwood, you'll use an eighth of an inch of drill bit. Now it's the time to go ahead and run in your number 12 by inch and a half wood screws. Uh, that will be five holes on each side of the truss. Please remember it's important to have a qualified person to determine the strength of the wood before fastening this anchor. If cracks occur in the wood while fastening it, you must remove the fasteners and place the anchor in a different location. It's important to understand the restrictions of this attic anchor when connected to the truss. You can pull the anchor at 90 degrees or 45 degrees in these two directions. The anchor cannot be used as a component of a horizontal lifeline the, and also only one user can connect at a time. When connecting the anchor, I recommend you always use a self-retracting uh, lifeline, SRL, as this will do the best job restricting your free fall distance, helping to hit, not hit the lower level and also reduces the force on the anchor location itself. I always recommend that a competent person oversees the compatibility of the anchor to the structure and as I mentioned earlier, a qualified person will need to be a part of the decision making process. Now it's important to know, PCS was not paid to promote this product, so if you'd like to purchase this item or any one of the thousands of products we sell, please contact me using the information at the end of the video. I look forward to hearing from you and have a safe day.